a more advanced calculation for Newton's law of universal gravitation would be where you are told that a person or an object has a gravitational force of 1000 newtons at the surface of the earth and then you are asked at what height will that gravitational force be 500 newtons. Now the first thing to see here is that that new force is exactly half of the original force. 500 is one half of 1000 so no matter what the numbers that you are given you can convert them into a ratio or in some cases you will just be given a question where you're asked to calculate the height at which the new force is one half of the original. And now we can go back by saying that we know that the original force was just the gravitational constant multiplied by the product of the two masses over the distance between their centers squared and we can substitute that term in for our original force here which says that one half is now equal to g times m1 m2 over r squared but in order to find that height we need to include the new number into the r squared term which we do by saying that this is again g m1 m2 over and in order to include to move the 2 into that bracket we must first find the square root of 2 because we know that the square root of 2 squared is equal to 2 so I've just taken this number and put it into that bracket and obviously the r stays there as well. Now what this tells us is we know that the term that is inside the bracket is always the distance between their centers so what this tells us is that the new distance is going to be root 2 times the original distance. Now note here that this is not what we would at first think because we think oh half the force means half the distance but remember the inverse square law says that that would not necessarily be true. So what this tells us is that the original objects were a distance of r apart and the new separation is now a distance of r times root 2 and we know that root 2 is 1.41 so basically saying that the new distance is 1.41 times bigger the last twist that can make this question even more complicated is instead of asking what height they can ask what altitude now we know that altitude refers to distance above the surface of the earth. So we know that the earth has a radius of r and now we know that this new body has been placed a certain distance away from the center of the earth. So when we are asked for the altitude we are only being asked for distance from the surface of the earth and so what we can then say is that our altitude must be equal to the entire distance that we have just calculated here as root 2 times r minus the distance from the center to the surface which is just r which gives us if we simplify that 1.41 minus 1 which tells us that the new distance is 0 0.41 times r above the surface of the earth so a couple of pitfalls in this question, the first one is to realize that you are not expected to use the actual force but rather use the proportion between the two forces that you are given. The second one is to convert that into a ratio and then move it into your formula keeping in mind that in order to square something you must first square root it and then to take note of whether the question is asking for the distance between the centers or asking for the distance from the surface of one object to another.